Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nastasha. If you're new here, I'd love it if you would subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram if you haven't done so as well. I have a super exciting giveaway coming up on there for you guys. So for today's video, we are talking about affordable IKEA items that can make your home look expensive. You definitely don't have to break the bank to make your home look really nice. And I love making these videos so I can help you guys make your home look a lot more expensive on a budget. As always, I will have everything linked in the description box down below for you guys to check out. And without further ado, we can just jump right into it. All right, so the first thing that I wanted to talk about is the Besta. Now I know I've talked about it before, but a lot of you guys had a ton of questions. And the main question I got was, which specific Besta cabinet, if I had to narrow it down to one, would I recommend? Because when you go on the site, they do offer this cabinet in over 48 different configurations. And when you start adding the different legs and stuff, there truly are about 100 different ways you can get this this cabinet made through Ikea. Now, I personally had the glossy white. I loved it. I think it looks very high-end. It looks very expensive. But if I were to do it all over again, I would have went with the glossy beige. I think it looks just a step up from the glossy white. And to be honest, the reason I didn't get that one is because at the time it was out of stock and I definitely should have waited until it came back in stock and just went with that one. I definitely don't regret the white one. I still think it's great. And if it matches your decor, definitely go with the glossy white. However, the glossy beige is great if you're like me and you have white walls to give you that like nice little bit of contrast. The glossy doors on the Besta just look so expensive. They literally look like a high-end piece and they are um, specifically this one is the buffet. So it's like the larger one that they make. It is under 400 bucks, like such a good buy. Makes a perfect TV console. I love it. All right, and then the second best configuration that I would recommend is the oak front. This is a newer addition to the Ikea collection. And to me, this one just screams Crate and Barrel or CB2. It looks really expensive. It looks like a very high end piece that even could have come from Restoration Hardware. I think with that particular door option on the front. So that would be my second runner up if I were to tell you which specific Besta I would recommend. The next thing I wanted to talk about is this decorative glass bowl. It's just a round glass bowl. I love using these for coffee tables or dining tables to kind of have a place for everything to go. It looks a little bit more organized, which again, makes things look a lot better. So how I would specifically style this decorative bowl is I would put it in the center of like a coffee table and I would use it to put a candle in it as well as my coasters. That is just gonna make everything look a lot more organized as opposed to just setting the coasters on the coffee table and then setting the candle randomly on the coffee table. Everything is gonna be centered in the middle. It's gonna make it look a lot better and then it's just like a place for it to go. You could also use this as a planter. I love the like low profile of it. As you can see in the photos here, they did that. And that's another great option to use this decorative bowl for. All right, next up is this green velvet bed. They've had this for a little bit and it has definitely grown on me over time. I absolutely love the curvature of the bed. The shape is perfect. That alone makes it look a little bit more high end. I love the fact that they put the metal legs on it. That again also elevates it a little bit and makes it look a little bit more high end. So if you are in the market for a bed, Definitely go with this one. It's such a great option. It looks like it was over a thousand dollars if you really look at the bed, but it definitely wasn't anywhere close to that because it's from Ikea. Again, a really great high-end option that they offer. All right, now I'm moving on to a nightstand pick. Now I love the bed that matches these nightstands. However, I don't think I would pair them together. I think that's what makes it look a little cheap if you get the matching bed. However, I love the matching bed if you were to get it separately and I love the nightstands separately. I think this would go perfect with a bed with like all white bedding. It just looks amazing. I love the light wood tone on it. And it's just really nice. I love the leather pull that is on the drawer. It just looks very unique. It's definitely not something that looks super cheap from Ikea. It looks really great and high end. They also have this available in black and now they came out with the black leather pulls. So if I were to get this nightstand, I would totally switch out the pulls on it for the black leather. And then you have like this really nice modern looking black nightstand. So if you're in the market for a black nightstand option, I think that these would be the perfect 
pick. They just look really nice. Again, they're not super expensive. You can get a pair of two or just a singular one for your bed. So if you're in the market for a new set of nightstands, I feel like either color would be a great option to have within your bedroom. All right, next up, we're moving on to this table lamp. I've always loved it and I've owned it for over a year now. I finally actually turned this into an Ikea hack. I'll put the photos up now. If you didn't catch that video, it is up on my channel already. I love the transformation of this, but I love the lamp alone as well. It's a really nice modern look. To me, as I mentioned in the video, it was just a little too modern for my taste, so I wanted to put my own spin on it. That is why I did the Ikea hack and it turned out so nice. Like this is so my style. It looks like it's like a stone light and it is just exactly what I was looking for. Definitely doesn't break the bank. I think these are only $39.99, like super affordable option for a table lamp. They do also have a matching floor lamp of this if you wanted to kind of like get the little set. I own both. I don't style them together. I have them styled separately, but they are a really great option. I love like the globe on them. Again, they kind of look modern, but you can make them work in a mid-century modern area as well well. Next up are these floor task lamps. These are so, so awesome. I absolutely love these. They remind me of like restoration hardware on a budget because if you look in the restoration hardware, I looked last night to check for you guys. Their lamps start at $600 and they go all the way up to $2,000. So this obviously is nowhere near that price. They have a similar lamp that kind of looks like this. It's about $700-ish. And then they have another one that also kind of looks like it for $1,500. So if you're trying to get that restoration hardware look for less, I definitely would recommend this lamp. Love how minimal and sleek it is. It would work in so many different places. You could put it above your couch. Also, these are great. A little tip, I love using lamps like this and I will push them against the wall completely as like a renter friendly uh, wall sconce. So you don't actually have to put holes in the wall. You can push them directly against the wall and then put your nightstand in front of it. And you kind of have that like wall sconce look without putting any holes in the wall. So that's just a really fun renter friendly hack that I like to do. I've done it before and it looks really great. All right, next up is the artificial plant. Ikea also has really great real live plants. I wanted to mention that as well. All the plants actually that my mom has are from Ikea. She's had them for years and they look amazing. Like when I say years, she's like had them since like I was born. So they are like super, super old plants. They're still alive and they're great. And so if you're looking for like real plants, Ikea's is a really great place to go because they're also super affordable. They just only have a few options of real plants at a time. So you kind of have to check back depending on what specific plant you're looking for. But if I were to go with a faux option, I really like this new arrival. I think it looks really expensive. It's on the smaller side. So this would be great to put on a console. You can style it on a coffee table. You can style it on your entryway in the middle of a dining table. So many ways in different places that you could put this. This is also a great, great option if you have a bathroom that doesn't have windows or gets good lighting, get one of these plants, put it in a really nice pot, and that is going to make it look really high end. All right, you guys know I absolutely love the Nordley collection when it comes to dressers. They have all my top picks are from that collection. However, they recently came out with this, and to me, this is amazing if you live in a smaller space. If you have a studio apartment, a small apartment, or if you're still living at home, this would have been perfect for me when I was living at home and my room was kind of small and I didn't have a ton of space. It's a dresser with a clothing rack attached to it. The clothing rack is absolutely amazing and it has a little area to the side where you could put a decorative tray with like your perfumes or accessories. And to me, it looks super stylish and like really nice. So if you have a smaller space and you're really struggling with what to put in it, this is a really great option to have as a dresser because it's a dresser and a clothing rack combination. All right, next thing that I wanted to share are these diamond chairs I saw these and these immediately screamed like West Elm to me they look super expensive very mid-century modern vibe to them but they aren't like super expensive either I think these would pair really nicely with a lot of different dining tables I love the fact that they are stackable so you can stack them if you need to again another great option if you're in a small space you can get a collapsible dining table you can have these and you can just stack them so they're like good to go but they still look really expensive and really high-end so if you're in the market for some dining chairs, definitely check those out. Another thing to note about them, they have pretty much the same West Elm fabric that my sofa has. So when I saw them, I immediately was like, wow, these actually would pair really nicely with my sofa. But again, you can see that they are good quality in the fabric that they have on them. So that's another thing to note about these dining chairs. I really think they're a great option if you need some. 
All right, and then I really wanted to make sure to share with you guys a dining table. I have a lot of favorites from Ikea that I love, but I saw this one, and when I saw the price for the size, I was super impressed. So this is actually a really large dining table. It measures 92 inches. Obviously, that is not gonna fit in everyone's home. It wouldn't fit in here. Actually, it might be able to squeeze it in, but if you're in the market for a really large dining table, this one is under 700 bucks, which for a dining table that size is a really great price, especially because of the fact that it again looks exactly like a restoration hardware piece so if you're looking for that look but trying to get it for less their dining tables are thousands of dollars I remember not too long ago I saw one that I liked and I put it on my wish list and I went to the outlet and even at the outlet the dining table was still $2,500 so I was like how much does this actually retail for and I went online and it was actually like four grand so I guess it was a good deal but definitely not in the market to spend that kind of money on a dining table right now so again if you're looking for that restoration hardware look for less this is definitely a really great option to keep in mind for your next shopping trip again if you have the space this is perfect all right so those were all of my Ikea picks I tried to choose my top 10 that I think will make your home look expensive on a budget I love making these videos if you guys would like to see any more videos like this let me know in the comments down below as always don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time bye